Hopkins criminal court clerk Arthur Morell and the city of New Orleans took a radical turn today. Morell announced major cuts in the bonding operations in his office. And as reporter Heath Allen tells us, the moves drew some sharp reaction from the city. As of this weekend, we will not be able to provide 24 hour bonding services. That is the long and the short of it. Criminal court clerk Arthur Morell says. His money just won't stretch, losing people from his bonding office, bringing the total office wide, he says, now to 22 vacancies. Someone's in jail and you want to bond him out. If it's after 11 o'clock, you just go wait until the next morning because we do not have any bonding clerks available to do that. Cutting off nighttime bonding and, and shutting down rather than reorganizing and being smart and taking uh, assistance where it's been offered to try to help him with those reorganizations, that's the wrong choice. And again, uh, I think this has more to do with the Fourth Circuit case tomorrow than anything else. The battle between the city and the clerk returns to the Fourth Circuit court this week. Morrell sued the city two years ago over the funding of his office and just who gets to set his budget. I don't have any other way of generating funds. The city funds my office 100 percent. That's personnel and expenses. I don't have any reserves. I don't have anything I can fall back on. I just have to suffer. I told him a month ago that he can now start replacing folks as they leave. And so if he's got two people who are leaving next week, he should make the request to me to you know, approve the hiring of the new folks. As far as I know, he's not done that. Coplin says Morrell should continue to operate within the budget approved by the city council. Morrell maintains his office is not a city agency but falls under the state. Any legal action, he says, is to protect his obligation to the state to the citizens. On your side, Heath Allen, WDSU News.